Okay, so let's uh, recreate this uh, simple animation to show uh, principles of animation, slow in, slow out, uh, spacing also, timing and spacing, and um, a little bit of a uh, modifier to kind of cycle it. All right, we got our arc right here. So let's get started. Uh, let me recreate this from the beginning. All right, so we'll go File, New, 2D Animation in Blender. I need to save that for now. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out here so we can see everything. And uh, let me go to my uh, the grease pencil tab. We have two layers. Uh, I'm not going to bother renaming them. I'm just going to create the fills. One right here so I can create my um, guide. So I'm going to hold down shift uh, when I do this. But let me turn on my screencast. I'm going to hold down shift and go to the uh, circle tool so that when I drag my circle like so, uh, it's a perfect circle. I'm going to press G to kind of move it in position right there, maybe a little bit more up. Okay, and then press enter. You got to press enter to end the tool. And I'm going to go with line right here. I'm going to hold down shift as well so it guarantees a straight line. And that's probably fine right there. Okay, so we're going to create another circle, but I'm now I'm going to go to my lines layer. Okay, I'm going to switch my pencil now to this darker ink pen. Hold down shift and drag so I get a ball or a circle right there. Okay, there it is. I'm going to press G. Just kind of get it positioned like so. Or uh, actually, I'm going to leave it there. Press enter. Okay, then go to edit tool. And I'm on frame one. Make sure you're on frame one. Okay. Select this, and I'm on uh, select all strokes right there. In edit mode, press G. Just kind of position it, kind of like so. Okay. So let's kind of simplify our timeline also. One to twenty only. Let me drag that in here, and then scroll to kind of see more of one to twenty. Okay, let's. Uh, we're gonna do uh, another principle of animation here. We're gonna do uh, post to post, and then add in uh, straight ahead in betweens, right? So uh, our major keyframes would be one, ten, and twenty. Okay, so twenty. I'm gonna go to twenty right here, and I'm just gonna go G and X so that it only goes left and right. So on frame twenty, basically, I just copy that exact same position, put it on the other side. When I go to frame 10 right here, I'm going to press G. Let's kind of guess where the center of the ball is. All right, right there. And keeping mindful, too, that it's touching the line right there. I have to go over, you know. Okay, so these are our major keyframe. If I play this, that's all we get. Just, okay. All right, so now I do want to... Uh, uh, make sure that my frame 9 and 11, which is before and after this one, that I'm getting enough distance here so that this swing is fairly fast. So I'm going to go frame 9 here and establish that now. That I do want it kind of here so that I have a lot of spacing. Alright, so that nine, 9 through 10, it's a pretty fast swing right here. Then slow down on one and two in our slow in slow out principle okay so let's get started on this i'm going to zoom in oops sorry press the wrong keyboard there okay so we're concerned now it's two to eight so number two number two uh i'm just going to slightly just kind of move it press g right there just kind of slightly move it down okay i do want it to kind of basically stay where it's at but just slightly move it down and then three, just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to increase my uh, onion skin to 2020 here, so we get to see all the onion, uh, the frames while we're doing it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go with uh, uh, that's frame uh, three right there. Frame four. I'm going to just move it down a bit. Frame five. So as you can see here, it's a really slow. I'm barely kind of separating those. I do want it getting packed in there. So seven, just slightly lower. 
eight. Now it's going to start accelerating. Okay. So let's take a look. There you go. Slow and it just. All right. Now let's go to a uh, frame 20. Zoom in on that. Go to 19. Kind of do the exact same thing here. So I just kind of almost just position it back right there. Then 18. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. Just a little bit lower. 13, 12. So it's starting to pick up and go down. All right, that should do it. There we go. All right, maybe I need to compress it here a little bit more. see 17 maybe 17 you can go a little bit higher sixteen all right let's take a look all right that would do it so now Let's extend this to, let's say, 250 now, because we want it to go all the way to the original timeline or whatever frames you want. Okay, so what I want to do here is select all these keys and uh, duplicate them. Shift D, move them to the right, right there, to frame 21. Okay, so what's going to happen here is just want to simply flip this over. So I'm going to go to my playhead, put it on, let's say, 31 right there. Okay, and I'm going to do scale, S, and then X axis, and just kind of flip this over. Oh, let me uh, undo that. Let me make sure my uh, cursor is over here so I have more space to kind of scale it going in. S, X, drag the mouse until you know, flip over. see right there just so that we don't have to uh, uh, start the animation so now when it ends on 20 it goes to 21 it just starts to go down okay so let's take a look all right so now at least we got that uh, you can put a modifier here uh, to kind of reverse it but you know that's another way to kind of show you guys that you can flip over uh, your animation okay we got 42 now okay so I'm gonna go to object mode okay let's hide that one right there so let's watch it again just uh, let me put this back to 42 just so that we could see that uh, all right but now it just cycles 1 to 42, right? But what if you want this thing kind of cycling uh, for a certain amount of time, let's say 10, 20, 1 minute in the background. Let's say you're using uh, a cycle animation in the back. So this is how we do it in the Grease Pencil. Um, uh, maybe in the future we'll have the modifiers here, kind of like in the 3D animation part where you can have a F curb uh, cyclic. Uh, but for now, uh, I think it's time offset. That's all we could use. All right. Make sure that you're in object mode. Select the lines uh, layer because this is um, what we're animating. Okay. Fills is just for the, the backdrop, right? I turned that up. So I'm going to go with this thing in object mode selected. I'm going to go to the modifier panel. Add modifier time offset. Okay. And here you can have reverse. 
uh, fixed frame we want you know we just want to put custom range keep loop is selected custom range uh, whatever that one is which is 42 okay what's going to happen now is again we're watching this all the way to uh, 250 now all right so when it plays it just keeps going until whatever timeline uh, number you set okay there's that it just keeps going of course it went it after it finished 250 it went back to the frame one and it's uh if you don't match that uh, number right there whatever 40 to do is divisible two uh you might have a slight bump like what you see there in the beginning all right so that's uh that should complete the uh exercise here slow in slow out and post to post straight head animation uh and arc so there's quite a bit of principles of animation applied on this one all right thank you for watching